What up, Rafa Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aubrey Barker Road and Critchlow Avenue in South Rheinbrook Garden. The sign says Critchlow Avenue, South Rheinbrook Gardens. And what we want to do today is examine some of the changes that are happening here in South Rheinbrook Gardens over the years. Now, some of you have lived in South Rheinbrook Gardens and you know this neighborhood much better than I am, than I do, so. I expect you to use the comments to tell me how things have changed uh, because you probably are familiar with this place from way back when it was constructed when it was built in the 1970s but this is the western end or side of South Rumble Gardens Gardens you can see that's the back road right and coming off the back road and back road used to be well is now Mandela Avenue officially called Mandela Avenue and we're now on Critchlow Avenue Salt Vine Belt Gardens and these homes are modified from the original homes that were built here so this for example is a fully concrete home but as you can imagine this white house is what they used to look like when they were built originally. Right, this is Oriella. Orella, Orella Avenue in South Ryan Belt Gardens. And as you can see, that's a short street that takes you east on the other side there's a canal separating these two communities you can see some of the original homes on the other side as well that's what the original homes looked like when they were built in the 1970s and this is what they look like now right after they've been modified some homeowners have had their homes um, renovated. So, like I said, back in the 1980s and 1990s, they were renovated to get to put concrete um, enclosures on the bottom flat. And then in the 1990s and beyond, they were built into fully concrete homes. So. They were built first as wooden homes in the 1980s. They were uh, the downstairs, that is the bottom flat was enclosed. And then eventually people built them entirely into concrete structures. This is Critchlow Avenue in South Rheinbelt Gardens. It's close to the western end. There are coconut trees and fruit trees. So this is one that is still in its almost original form here in South Rheinbelt Gardens. Those of you who've lived in South would recognize the form factor. This one is under renovation and reconstruction. Right, it's being enlarged. So when they were built initially, that's how small they were. They were really affordable homes back in the 1970s. And then people, as they um, lived in them over a while, over a period of time, extended them, renovated them, and built them out, made them over, personalized them basically into concrete homes, fully concrete homes, or some partially. This is gooseberry. The gooseberries, one of the tropical fruits here in. Guyana you can use it to make a fruit drink these are banana trees right banana trees are now quite common in Georgetown let me show you how the banana grows right that's young banana nothing just taking some videos this is Another renovated home. This one has been enlarged. You're right? This one has been enlarged. This one 
under renovation, also being enlarged and maintain its wooden structure, wooden format. So this is Crichlow Avenue, guys, in Crichlow Avenue here in South Rhinebelt Gardens. This is huge, a huge tree. Might be a hundred years old, could be at least 50, maybe a hundred years old. That's the other side. That's looking back at Critchlow Avenue here in South Rhinebelt Gardens. Those of you who've lived here before, to tell me what you think. How have things changed? Right, that's Critchlow Avenue in South Rhinebelt Gardens. This is Cane View Avenue. We've seen Cane View Avenue in the last video. On the other side of Cane View Avenue, this was Cane Field, so all of that was a cane field. Continues, continues west for, I guess, about a mile or so until you get to the end. All right, that's Cane View Avenue. Until you get to West Indian Road, I believe. Continuation of West Indian Road. Marge Cemetery Road. But it used to be Gaisuko's sugarcane plantation on the other side of Caneview Avenue. Now that land has been reclaimed and is now being developed. This is Caneview Avenue in South Roundbelt Gardens. This is like the back and it used to be the back end of South Rhinebelt Gardens on the other side of this road is Houston right that's a Houston estate and now of course there are residential properties behind the flying of trees where there used to be sugar cane fields this is Cane View Avenue the south South end of South Rheinveld Gardens. This one also, I think, don't know the name of the street, let's see. Don't yet have a name. But yes, this is this is what South Rheinveld Gardens looks like in 2023. Apparently somebody is building a community housing development over here. Basu Developers Inc. So Basu Developers Inc. is building what they're calling Floral Park. And that is their layout, community layout. Seems to be a rectangular grid with some cul-de-sacs. Seems also as if they're building a gated community over here in Houston. So this is a new housing development called Floral Floral Park. There's still, I suppose, lots that are being uh, developed, houses that are being built, but some of them have already been constructed. Like I said, this used to be, this used to be Sugar Cane Field back in the 1970s when the South Rambert Gardens community was built. And now they're building now they're building um, homes. Right now they're building, these are residential homes being built in this neck of the woods division they're calling Floral Park. So back on Caneview Avenue, morning, in South Rhinebelt Gardens. This is the old 
um, development. The development is now about 50 years old or more. And this is the new development. All right, this is now being constructed by Basu developers, has a name on that line. Suggests this property is not for sale, as the sign says. Somebody painted that on the remains of a property because, of course, there's a problem here in this country where people are selling property that don't be, doesn't belong to them. But this is Kendu Avenue in South Rumble Gardens as we head towards the new as we head towards the new East Bank Bypass Road. On the other side. That's now Floral Park being developed by Basu developers. Here are some newer um buildings that were probably uh, modified renovated from the original from the original homes that were built here in South Rumble Gardens so as you can see for comparison this is what the renovated home looks like but this is what the original home that is some of these homes like this one are still in the original form and the others have been renovated or rebuilt or extended right so this one I think was modified in the 1980s you can see it enclosed concrete on the downstairs this one probably in the 1990s or 2000s was completely rebuilt and behind these trees are some of the original original um, homes here in South Rhinebelt Gardens. So this is it guys, this is what's happening here in South Rhinebelt Gardens in 2023. As we approach David Rose Street, right, David Rose Street. Somebody has significant amount of Communications equipment. There's a communications tower. Really tall. That's David Rose Street in South Rhinebelt Gardens. See, that's David Rose Street. And Houston. Houston Estates on the other side. So, this is also quite new. Like I said, all of this land on the south side of South Rhinebelt Gardens. This used to be sugarcane field, but now there are homes here. It's a housing development. So homes are being built on what was once Gaisuko's sugar plantation. So we can see the the fence surrounding Basu Developers Floral Park. Right on that side you can see the fence around What we just saw, this is the Basu developers um, floral park development, housing development. But outside of that fence is a new area being developed in this road. It's a concrete road that is being built. It's most likely quite recently built. And down this street, you can see there are no other homes being built here in Houston. Alright, these are your other homes. Now we're going to explore 
this area in Houston in a future video but let's see let me finish finish up a review of the periphery of South Rheinveld Gardens all right over there you can see that's the East Bank Bypass Road the new road they've built for reference that's the traffic on the East Bank Bypass Road and here is a return to Cane View Avenue. I'll show you how you can get to the East Bank Bypass Road from this section of the neighborhood. All right, so this is residential community that is now prime real estate because of the new road being built. In other words, it puts this neighborhood oh I see that large building it's Ginip or Gin Ginique Gin Quip Gin Quip um, engineering equipment engineering equipment shop so that's David Rose Street which we just passed we just passed it when we were coming this way David Rose Street I think this goes all the way out to the junction all right this is the road that takes you out to the old junction all right takes you out to the old junction and this is Caneview Avenue, which takes you out to the new East Bank Bypass Road. Caneview Avenue used to be the back end, the south end of South Line Belt Gardens. This is Newton Prophet Square. All right, this is Newton Prophet Square here in South Rivert Gardens. So that's Newton Prophet Square. Some of the homes here are still in the original format, but you can see clear extensions and modifications. So that's what's happened here at the back of South Rivert Gardens, guys. It's no longer the end of Georgetown. You know, there was a time when you would come all the way back here and you know that this is the definitely the southern end of Georgetown, the south end of Georgetown. But now, as you can see, developments happening further south of this location. This, for example, I think I've seen this house before in a previous video. This is a morning renovation. Renovation on an older um, original building. This, I believe, is a church. This is a new church that's being built, has been built here in recent times. But that's somebody's building a larger building on what was once an original. Original South Rhine Park Gardens building. So here we are back on the East Bank Bypass Road. You can see this is South Rhine Park Gardens. We're entering South Rhine Park Gardens at this point. But if you're heading south, you'll be heading to Houston. And that's Restoration Ministries. So guys, that's what's happening here in this neck of the woods. This is the traffic at about 7 a.m. in the morning on the East Bank Bypass Road. So that is the new Four Points Resort. 
right? The construction site for the new Four Points Resort. It's over there. Kenview Avenue continues. We'll continue. In another video, we'll see much more of Kenview Avenue. And this traffic is heading into the city on the East Bank Bypass Road. Want to see more content like this? Click like and subscribe. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the changes here happening in the back of South Royal Belt Gardens. That is Critchlow Avenue, Caneview Avenue, and Houston, where there are new developments, Floral Park, and Houston developments. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!